Hi there, Fred, FR5ED, with a special review. I promised this a little while back when I obtained this particular vessel, and I just wanted to do a quick review on not a beer, uh, but on a glass. This is the Dogfish Head slash um, Sierra Nevada slash, Sp oh gosh, Spiegelau, Spiegelau, I believe is how you pronounce it. It's a special IPA glass uh, that was created uh, with the collaboration of those three organizations. Uh, and you can read more about it at the Dogfish Head site. They go into how they, and there's videos as a matter of fact too, so you can see how it was conceived and how it came about. And I won't go back through the story of how I obtained this one. You can go back and see that video. That was a special report. Anyway, this is a 19 ounce glass and I'm going to use a well-known to me IPA, High Lie. I'm not using Dogfish Head or, or Sierra Nevada beer in here. Just happened to, I just had one of these left and wanted to enjoy it and uh, it should go quite well in here. I won't bother to tell you how many times I've used this glass already, but I'm going to pretend it's the first time. Anyway, let me go ahead and pour this in there. One of the things I think I will notice right off the bat, there we go, is I I tend to get a much more decent um, head on the beer. I don't know how many of my reviews you've watched where I get very little head on there when I'm using the Brandy Snifter, which is one of my you know favorite glasses to use for drinking, uh, IPAs especially, and stouts. This develops quite a good head, and I there's probably a scientific reason behind it. I don't know. It's the same temperature. It's just as clean. I have no idea why. It must have something to do with the shape and the, and the, uh, the design of the glass. I can tell you that, um, you know, they figured 19 ounces was the perfect size. The flute shape or the tulip shape here uh, that tapers towards the top is just the right size to get my lips on and my nose down into. And it really does focus the aromatics, the volatiles. So I, I know this beer very well, this, this, um, this IPA. And I've had it in the Brandy Snifter and Pint Glass and Tulip many times. The, the, the opening, the size of the opening on this is, is perfect. I mean, that's what they decided it was. It was perfect. All I know is that I can really smell a higher concentration of the familiar aromas from High Line. Uh, definitely. It's, it's not an illusion. Not that I'm doing an A-B comparison. I've just had, you know, many, many times out of the other glasses. So I love the fact that that concentration is there. About the shape of it, um, these lobes, you know, these three, you know, lobes in this section, that is allegedly as the beer, you know, goes back and forth over the, um, those lobes, it's releasing more carbonation and more aromatics. Uh, you know, it's doing more and more to release the aroma. What you can't see, and I can't really tip it much, you might be able to see, I don't think so, but uh, you, there's an etching on the inside of the bottom of the glass that is to, it's a shark, it's the dogfish head logo, but that etching, that rough surface, is supposed to release even more carbonation to bring more aromatics to the surface. So, anyway... Um, it, it's it's been well thought out and let me go ahead I'm going to take one more wonderful sniff of this aroma or one more sniff of this wonderful aroma I don't know where that adjective should have gone and it's there it's wonderful and I don't know why it would taste better it's the same liquid in a glass I think it really has most to do with the aromatics with the the aroma but it just seems to even taste more concentrated. That's probably not true. Maybe that's just suggestion, but I do know I love to grip it. The brandy snifter is a little awkward to hold. There's no real handle on it unless you, you know, slip your hand underneath it and, and cup it like a brandy snifter. And I'm, you know, it's not my favorite posture for holding the glass. This is like a pistol grip. I mean, you've, you can feel your fingers landing in the grooves of those lobes, 
And with that much surface area of the glass covered with your hand, you're warming up the beer uh, probably more quickly than other type glasses. So, um, which is a good thing. Again, if you thought that was a bad thing, no. For for ales, you know the you know IPAs, 52 degrees roughly is your op optimal drinking temperature, somewhere in that range. Um, but it just, I love it. I'm just, I'm enjoying this glass so much, and it's 9.99 or something like that on the Dogfish Head website, and another nine dollars for shipping. It comes out close to twenty dollars for one of these. So it's not something everybody's going to want to go out and buy. But if you're wondering, is it worth it? Uh, you know, as you recall from my previous review, I didn't have to spend twenty dollars on this glass. It, I was in the right place at the right time, that's for sure. But I've been wanting to buy one of these, and I was eventually going to. And even if I had spent the full twenty dollars to get this in my hands. I think it's worth it, if, you know, for somebody who loves IPAs, you know, pale ales, IPAs, uh, anything quite aromatic in the beer world. Um, I would recommend it. I'd recommend it if you ever get to a bar where they have any and you can try one, then you'll know for yourself. But I'm going to keep using mine, I'll tell you that. You're going to see this on many, many, many more beer reviews. All right, this is Fred of our 5ED, over and out. <laughs>